folks, Jamesy Boy here. Uh, literally going to be doing this on top of my chest freezer purely because the light, I'm trying to find a good place to do some light, but this is the only place I can get it. But I do apologise for this video coming too soon, coming too late rather. Basically, i just been really busy on my week off thinking, uh, you know. But anyway, this video will be my bargain video game pickups again all Xbox 360 and this time I spent 40 well 39 pounds to be precise some of these games I haven't actually played low so I'm just gonna get straight to the first one and it's Castlevania Lord of Shadows 2 I think yep it is uh, I've never actually played any Castlevania games seriously I haven't uh, I know there's a Castlevania game out for the Mega Drive, but it's costing like £140. So I am going to be looking forward to actually playing this. Uh, i got a funny feeling it's meant to be... Yeah, it's Lords of the Shadows 2. Uh, obviously, it's a promo disc at the moment, so I'm guessing they didn't pack the picture disc. Oh, well, never mind. But this, I picked this up for £4. So I've heard nothing but good things about the Castlevania series. I'm not sure about this one the last Castlevania 2 now believe it or not this one I haven't actually played either uh, it's the Darksiders collection you get Darksiders 1 and 2 let's have a look here so you got Darksiders and Darksiders 2 and no I haven't actually played these games at all but I've heard nothing but good things about this however I've heard that there's not going to be a Darksiders 3 because the developer of the games or THQ are actually no longer so I doubt we'll ever see a Darksiders 3 I know a lot of my friends who've played this are hoping for a third one but anyway I thought I'd pick this up this cost me a fiver so again that was good value for two decent games now I never played these two either again I'm gonna bring them both into shot now uh, I've heard again nothing but good things about this I believe that's the fighting game and that's the actual RPG, I'll have a look at the back now. But it has intrigued me this series. Uh, I believe that's Persona 4 Arena and that's Persona 4 Arena Ultimax. That's the fighting version, I believe. But this is a Japanese RPG as well. I'm surprised I actually managed to pick this up. I didn't realize it was out on the 360, you know, with Xbox brand doesn't really do well in likes of Japan and all. So I'm really pleased to have picked this up and I'm really looking forward to actually playing this as well because like I said, I've heard nothing but good things. I checked Metacritic and it's all in the 90s, so that's all good. Now that one cost me £4 and I believe that was a fiver. So that was all good. This one was £4, don't really need an introduction on it. It's the Elder Scrolls Skyrim, probably one of the best games to have come out. A cracking RPG. This is just the original version though. Uh, I believe they, they do have an Ultimate Edition that has all the DLC with it. And I do have, uh, what's the other one? Oblivion. But I know my wife said she likes these kind of games, so that's a pure reason why I bought it. And plus four quid, you can't go wrong, can you? But that is Elder Scrolls Skyrim. Next one, I had a lot of fun when I played this. Uh, Lollipop Chainsaw, it's a nice arcade hack and slash. That's the word I'm looking for. And you play, oh, what's her name? Oh, are you kidding me? What's her name, what's her name, what's her name? Uh, I've forgotten what her name is. Oh, never mind. You play this girl and obviously you got her boyfriend, I believe, on her head. I mean, some of the cutscenes on you are so wrong in every way, but you will still have a lot of fun. It is single player only. And again, I picked this one up for £4 as well. Now, to me, this game is a racing game, but it's a kind of a hidden gem. A split second velocity. And this didn't really get the reception it thoroughly deserves because it was run, it was published by Disney then. But I believe their advertising when this game came out was absolute shite. So, anyway. But this is a racing game where you can activate obstacles along the way, start explosions hopefully to put off your 
rivals and I would seriously recommend if you're a racer out there if you not playing the likes of Burnout or Forza I strongly suggest you go and pick this up again this cost me four pound uh, last but one Bioshock Infinite again this one was four pound and why well, this game is just brilliant you know you have First person shooter, right, in my opinion, it was a phenomenal story and the combat was a little Halo-y. Now, don't get me wrong, I do like the Halo combat, but I was kind of hoping it would stick to the original Bioshock and Bioshock 2. But again, this is still a really cool game, especially when you find out it only costs £4 again. You are going to get your money's worth out of that, especially if you haven't played the Bioshocks. I would seriously recommend you go and pick these games up. I have had this game before, but with <coughs> excuse me, with like jobs and all, trying to find another job, I had to sell it in order to keep my bills paid and all. And here's the last one, and I couldn't believe the condition I got it in. Now this was one of the games I had to sell back in 2000, uh, 2011, I think. But here, here we go, and I'm amazed the condition I got it in as well. So here we go, it's the Halo Reach Limited Edition. Now you know with limited editions now, chances are you're only gonna get like codes for in-game. Uh, if you want something with like a toy or any cool stuff, you need to get the collector's edition now. I'm just gonna quickly move my camera up so you can see my glorious wallpaper. <coughs> but here we go. I'm just gonna quickly open this up. Of course, you get the game. I need to turn it upside down in order to do that. And normally, when you buy a game pre-owned, the chances are the codes don't get used, do they? You know. So with this one, so you get the free collector's bonus content. I think I've already used it. But if you go around, the code hasn't been used. So that's kind of cool. And the game is in pretty much brand new condition. So I took the gamble on this because I really wanted to get this back because I enjoyed all the literature that came with this. Again, you can see the disc is in mint condition. Right, so we can quickly get this out. I am a bit weary on opening this because it doesn't look like, ooh. It doesn't look like it has been opened, but anyway, let's have a look. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be missing a few things here because like I said, it is a pre-owned copy. And you get an entire, the hell do you open this? Do I flip that out? Oh, come on. Yeah, there you go. And you get... Oh, it's upside down. Damn me. You get all this literature to read through with it all. Oh, hang right, on. We got stuff in here. Let's have a look. I can't remember for the life of me what came with it. So here we go. We got this UNSC Catherine Halsey. So little key card there. Nice little badge to put on a jumper or anything. And yeah, you just get loads of literature and everything with it. I believe everything is you. So the fact I managed to pick this up for £5, in, especially in the condition it's in, because the condition is absolutely brilliant. Obviously, once I've taken the stickers off, It'll pretty much look like new, but it means I can keep finally keep hold of it. Because with my collector's editions, I've either been forced to sell them, which has really angered me a bit. But this is the grand total for all of these games. Oh, let's just put that in. Came to £39, and I was really pleased with the amount of quality I got for £9. Uh, nine for £39. But that's pretty much all the games I got for this week in my retro pickup. Um, not my retro pickup. In my bargain video game pickup. I will, for my next episode, I will try a different store. Because all the episodes I've done so far, I've basically just done CEX. But I will try some other stores when I get around to doing that. Uh, now the next video after this will be my retro games pick up because I had to wait for a couple of deliveries but this is what I got so far in my bargain video game pickup all of this for £39 in my opinion you really can't go wrong 
But what do you guys think? Have you lot played any of these games or are you looking to pick them up? And if so, just let me know what you think of them. But this is Jamesy Boy logging off. You take care.